Now that I have uh, been at this uh, math thing for three years and a little bit, so I, I guess I'm really like a, a couple of months into my fourth year, uh, and I came across this wonderful book by Garrity, uh, All the Math You've Missed, I think it's titled. I'll see the picture pretty soon. Uh, I want to use that book as a way to measure my, my coverage. And then also I want to talk about some assessments that I've been thinking about for the material that I've covered before, because I do know that uh, when it comes to self-learning, uh, I think retention is lower than it would be in a regular program. I know that for a fact, having been in a regular program many years ago. So I'm going to look at the, uh, the 20 topics for Garrity very quickly and assess how much of them I've covered, but also what assessments do I need to make for the material that I've already covered. So I do plan to cover the 20 topics that Garrity mentions. I will we'll use it as a guide. Uh, any guide is as good as any. I was previously using the courses in the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign, but I think Garrity's list is longer. It's got a lot more content. And I like it. So I think I'm going to shift to using Garrity. So I'm going to call those uh, 20 topics essential for my self-learning. It's just a choice. It's six of one and half a dozen of the other for what I do. But I, I think this is going to help me. Uh, so for the Garrity topics, and if I put a letter, uh, letters at the end in orange, it means that I feel I've covered it. Linear algebra, I'm in the middle of the uh, Friedberg and Spence book. I think at some point in the next four or five months, I'm going to call it done. Uh, then, of course, I did a ton of real analysis, or a lot. I don't want to say ton. A lot. Uh, and I also, when I did weight, I did do differentiating vector value func uh, functions. I read a book on point set topology, which taught me, so I mean, completely in the flesh, that uh, mathematics is a contact sport. You have to do problems. I didn't do any problems. I don't think I learned anything from reading that book, really. I don't even remember the author right now as I make this video. So classical Stokes theorem, yeah, definitely it was covered in Wade. Uh, and then differential forms and Stokes theorem, that's really the, I think it's the next to last or last chapter in uh, baby rooting. I did not get to it, so I have not covered it. And so, yeah, I'm not going to consider point set topology as covered. It's going to be something that I'm going to have to do again with problems. Uh, curvature of curves and surfaces and geometry. That's going to be a differential geometry gig that I want to do. So that's on my list. Countability and the axiom of choice. I came out of, uh, of uh, both the basic analysis uh, uh, books that I, that I did and the number systems book, the Mendelssohn book. Then elementary number theory for sure. I did a lot of that. Uh, abstract algebra is next after linear algebra for me. So that's over the horizon. Uh, algebraic number theory. Uh, is is going to wait until uh, I have covered abstract algebra and later. So it's down the road. Complex analysis, I covered it, Stephen and Snyder. Uh, analytic number theory, I have not. So that, that will be a uh, for, for a round of uh, graduate level number theory that will have to happen after abstract algebra. Lebesgue integration, I did do some out of... Uh, Sherbert, yeah, yeah, Sherbert. I forget the whole name of the book. Uh, then Fourier analysis, there was some in Wade, but not enough, and I know Fourier analysis is uh, very deep, and so that's going to have to wait until I do another round of analysis, uh, maybe as part of an analysis uh, uh, assessment. And then uh, differential equations, I have to cover. Combinatorics, probability theory, I have to cover. Algorithms, I think the best one combo for algorithms will be algorithms for linear algebra, for which I've shown multiple books. I want to do that. And I'll do the category theory thing just because I think it's going to be interesting, uh, even if I poo-poo it because it reminds me of string theory. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, when I map the uh, my coverage to Garrity and the assessments that I need to make, uh, the ones in orange... Are, are the four assessments that I need to make. I need to make a number theory or assessment. That's the first one out of the gate where I need to go back at all the number theory that I covered. Uh, and then in the case of real analysis, I also need to do another assessment and of course complex analysis and then also linear algebra. And I'm sure when I get to the assessment for analysis, 
I'll do one of the new topics or more. And somewhere in there, there's going to have to be differential equations and differential geometry. So uh, out, of, out of the 20 topics, I feel uh, I can say I've covered eight. So that's a, kind of like a 40% into what Gary would consider a full coverage, which I think is fairly good. It's a lot of material. And I like that, and that's why I'm stick. I'm, I think I plan to stand uh, stick to Garrity's uh, topics. So there will be a number theory assessment, a real analysis one, a complex analysis one, and a linear algebra with number theory happening so, uh, as soon as possible. Uh, definitely after uh, linear algebra and before abstract algebra, because I know the beginning of all the abstract algebra books uh, has they usually have a, like a basic number theory content. And so the path, I think, in the near future is going to be uh, finish off linear algebra, do the NT assessment, go into abstract algebra, then fit, do Moncris or Moncris topology, and then do the real analysis, complex analysis assessment. Uh, and so I'll, I'll end up with this slide. There will be a, uh, a bunch of uh, topics that are the, the other 12 topics. I've already shown them before, so I'm not going to read these off. So these are the ones that are over the horizon. And I forget what the other author of Sherbert was for analysis right this moment. And I know I'm going to remember it the moment that I stop this video.